the source of some places and how it's harvested. That's why I went through a good source to get mine. Um, but what concerned me is that it's used in mascara and one of the number one complaints with the use of it in mascara is that it blocks the tear ducts within the eyes. Now, I don't know about how many of you listening today use mascara and have had dry eye issues, troubles with your eyes tearing, um, having to use eye drops, going into your ophthalmologist or your um, eye doctor and having complaints about this, but you may also want to check your usage of things near your eyes or you're having these issues. After reading this, it was concerning to me, even though I don't use it often, I went immediately to check out my own. So, as you can see, this is what I have in my, <clears throat> my bathroom. And I looked up the ingredients for this, and within the first three ingredients, first of all, it had paraffin, which was not good in my world at all. I don't use paraffin in anything. So to know that I used it by my eyes, which I know in this business, the eyes have the thinnest skin, okay? On the outside of your body, your eyelids are so very thin. So everything going on those is getting absorbed into the blood, which paraffin is a petrochemical. And so I try and stay as far away from those as possible because they're cancer causing and carcinogenic. And they're in my lovely mascara. So <sighs> these things in small amounts may not be as harmful. But the point is, when you're trying to live a healthy, happy, best life now, you want to make sure that these things are eliminated wherever possible. That's my take on it. I kept searching the ingredient list, in which case nothing on there, in my, my opinion, was good, except for the beeswax, okay? Um, because beeswax has so many great qualities. Carnava wax was maybe like 6th or 7th or something. And so I'm also one of the users who needs to be wary of this. Know thyself. Know thy product. Now I know because I took the time to look it up. And I hope I save someone else a little bit of trouble if you are experiencing these issues or side effects, know somebody who's experiencing these, or maybe just don't want to. Again, Carnava Wax. I think it can be good in some areas. I've heard it's like one of the most luxury car wax waxes. So like super expensive. And I know this bag was super expensive. Um, compared to other waxes. I'm going to try it, like I said, on some hair product. I'm going to make some hair glue, hair paste for the men and the short hair groovy women. And I'm going to see how it goes. But now I have a lot more awareness and I'm going to decide if I really want to use this mascara anymore. And how to go forward with that, but with a lot more knowledge. And I'm thankful that I went through a great source to get this Carnava wax, because again, that's another thing that I saw come up with this wax, is that people had um, issue or complaint with some of the, um, the non-ethical ways it was being harvested. So, good source, and you're good. Double check your products, especially makeup. I love when women look absolutely like they're in goddess mode, whether they're fresh face natural or beat. <laughs> so just be mindful 
The eyelids are so thin. Whatever you're applying there, mascara, mascara glue, eyeshadow, all of these things, eyeliner, they all add up. And if you're doing them daily and all day and multiple times and into the night, you should definitely be thinking about a break at some point, at whenever you can, when you're at home, chilling, whatever. But these things can add up and they are very toxic if we're not very careful. So anybody listening to me is definitely looking for more holistic options And I'm going to be on the search for a better holistic mascara because that paraffin, I didn't like seeing that. And I love mascara and what it can do, but I'm not sure that I want to take that big of a risk. So if anybody knows of any mascaras that are holistic, work very well, please put it down below in the comments. And again, please like and share. We always love hearing feedback. I'll be shooting more videos about sharing more knowledge on products and ingredients that are both wonderful for you and also those that are maybe cloaked in holistic but may not be so holistic. I'm always trying to provide knowledge as I get that as well. And I welcome the wise to teach. So again, this is Inika Elements. And this is Annika Martin, your host and your creator of Inika Elements. I hope to be shooting another video with my hair wax coming up soon. I just made some really cool, amazing things and I look forward to sharing the fun, the joy, but most of all, living our best life now together. Be well.